Hello you awesome science kick subscribers out there today and viewers if you're a new viewer today welcome to the channel by hero887 this is me the real voice the real hero887 welcoming you today 46 in the daily countdown of Shadow of War that is to come on October 10th, 46 days from now. And each episode, we're going to have not only gameplay from the first game, uh, which is going to be just kind of a leading up to Shadow of War, but also we're going to talk every before that gameplay about certain things that we can expect to be in Shadow of War. Today, we're going to talk about, as I promised from the previous episode, about gems and how gems are used to increase the overall power and abilities and um, different traits and attributes attributed to those various weapons and gears, such as. Uh, armor and, and the ring of power even and how those are used to uh, upgrade them even further from their already awesomeness. Now I might have misspoken. I'm not sure if gems can be used on the ring of power. Uh, I do know runes can be but I'm not quite sure if gems are so I misspoke there. Just to clarify briefly. Now s gems or socketable stones as the devs have so dubbed it they can be used as such to socket into your gear. So and those would basically further upgrade your gear from the from when from what you previously col collected from dispatching the various powerful enemies in Sauron's army, in the last episode I talked about how to get better gear. Now we're going to talk about how to get uh, get these gems to upgrade that gear even further. Gems are dropped by defeating creatures rather than orcs, such as the ice grogs, which is a new creature introduced in Shadow of War, which is pretty cool. You can throw these huge ice boulders if you happen to dominate one. But anyways, that's a side point. Such creatures as Ice Grogs, Drakes, and Karagors, and so on. Now, there are more creatures that gems can be dropped from, and but that's the ones I know of currently. And I may have misspoke. Leave a comment below if you think it might be dropped by someone else, such as Eryx. I'm not quite sure if it is. It's just kind of what I believe it is. Could be mistaken, but so far from what I can tell, gems are only dropped by creatures. Now, after hunting and killing these beasts, there's a chance that they will leave behind these precious gems of various types and colors. There's not just one type of gem. There's many types and colors. Many as in three, actually. So upon collecting the gem, uh, you, the gem, you, not the gem, you may collect this gem and then you have to actually unlock a gem slot in the desired piece of gear using the game currency equivalent of Mithril in the Shadow of Mordor. So just like we saw in the previous game, that is Shadow of Mordor, you collect various little uh, runes and artifacts throughout the game. You also have a game currency in which must be used to unlock these gem slots. And then uh, those gem slots, once unlocked by this game currency, can they be put onto the weapons or armor or whatever it is you're trying to upgrade to make them better. Now there are three types of gems you can find. There's the red potency gem, the green vitality gem, and the gray slash white wealth gem. Again, that's potency, vitality, and wealth. So potency gems will likely um, up stats like weapon damage. And I'm guessing that vitality gems uh, will probably boost the overall health, focus, and perhaps even the wrath points, which is a new um, bar of stuff that you can do with Talion's abilities, the wrath bar or the wrath fill up tank mode to call it. So the vitality gems I think might have to do with boosting that, the health, the focus, and the wrath. And then again guessing here, but I think wealth gems may increase odds for more vulnerable uh, I'm sorry, not more vulnerable, more valuable gems and gears and rune drops. So if you want to collect more gear and more gems, maybe you want to make some runs um, in the very open world of Shadow of War. You want to try to up your abilities and make the weapons you currently have even better, or maybe perhaps find some better weapons. Maybe that's what the wealth gems are for. And that's going to be very helpful, especially with runes to make the Ring of Power better, and all your gear, actually, runes apply to as well. So in the next episode, I will talk about rune upgrades specifically and then really how OP you can be how cheat mode godlike you can become and the abilities that you can get from what's called set bonuses from runes so stay tuned for that um, that is going to come tomorrow today is 46 to the countdown and uh, without further ado let's jump into some Shadow Mordor gameplay stay tuned for tomorrow don't forget to subscribe check the playlist below for more awesome game content hey also welcome to some Shadow of Mordor gameplay I hear voices. We're gonna forget about them for now. And we're gonna run off to our new Karagor mission. Hopefully, we can climb this huge 
massive rocks and vines. Went ahead and changed skin to Black Hand. Can't go wrong with that dude. Pretty epic skin. What I love particularly is his awesome, like, gauntlets. It's like so sweet looking. Hey! Trying to do a mission here. <laughs> okay. So Torben's gonna teach me more about hunting today. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. The Great White Krog. Let's take a look, shall we? Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. Oh, well, I told. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? I'm not sure who Crabane is. So I don't know my Lord of the Rings lore as good as maybe some crab. of you awesome dudes. So be curious this if you leave a comment who that could be. Crabane. Strong enough to claim Go back and watch and see the subtitles if you need you the spelling, because I didn't catch it. When trespassing. Tell me, Captain. Well, it's time to find out if we before. can't kill this great Today white grog. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this. I think so too. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those. I don't guts. know what they keep going on about his gut so, so much. I, I mean, he's really not kill this grog. unfit. Dude, Captain, I mean, this dude's actually since you're so good at quite a orders, quite a I'll specimen how, of health. So step. I don't know what they keep referring step to their gut about. I'm guessing what what they must have done is um, originally when they the did the voiceover. Out. Perhaps but they had a model throat, of the, place crowds aren't covered in spiky you know, the, of the dwarf that was actually more fat, so I'm guessing that. Because if you think about Gimli, you want then it kind of makes sense, you know what I'm saying? That Gimli kind of looked a little crushed, fatter, the dwarf yes. would have been fatter, and then whatever have reason, maybe the developers decided to give there himself um, less what of a gut and more fine, of some muscle and abs. I and it'll meet a fine end. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into this grog bleed here. Go ahead and stab him, sneak up. Bleeding grog will call massive damage and attract Karagaragaragors. Alright. So, okay. While he's distracted, I'll run down here. Give him a little stab and then a little giblet. Anklets. Here, little groggy groggy. Woo! I got you, groggy. Very good. No a problem. Oh, he got half my health there. That will be quite a ride. Mount the Karagor, you got it. Woo! Karagor's trying to get me. Oh snap! They got that Karagor down. Yeah, I think that Karagor is dead. Oh, maybe not. Apparently he's good enough. <laughs> he's still ride like the wind. Wily charms? I forgot for a second it sounded like I said Willy charms. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to ride. Bigger crowds when I was a wee boy, and my beard was only three inches long. Beard is only three inches long. That's not too bad. Now what? Over huh? here. Where'd Look you go, here. you fool? Nothing like a dwarf for dessert. We're a sweet little morsel. If you can get me in your mouth before I drop you. What are we doing here? Stun the grog. Okay. You got it. 
Shoot a disoriented grog with a fully charged shot to stun it. Well, I did. Why are we in slow motion this whole time? Am I supposed to shoot it more? I guess. Okay, that's all I had to do. Way to go, Dwarfo! What step four? There is no step four! It should be dead! You must have done it wrong! I'm following your Swing orders! At it. Well, that's Swing your at problem! Swing at <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, very good. Unmount and uh, make the climb. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't find the ground! Oh, hold that? Okay, sorry. Oops. Okay, press Y again. Uh huh. And hold that RB button again. Okay. And uh, dodge that. Do a little stab action in the back. And uh, come down with the final X move. Now that's a hunter. <laughs> hey, look who's showing up for the party. Hey. Oh, let's get them all. <laughs> Let's just grab some one of these and eat them. Yes. Yes, please. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We got the Caragor helping out, too, which is always fantastic. And uh, we can lose some flame arrow. There we go. <laughs> Boom! Shaka Laka. Wait, where did they go? There he is. Oh, I shot the intel guy. Oh, well. I don't think it would have had an opportunity to really do much else. Or anyone else? Oh, there's one final contestant. There we go. Oh, now I got a stain of my blade. How unfortunate. All right. Bring out the blade. And it's now time to kill. So this is a pretty good picture, though. I mean, I mean, look at that. It's got a face only a mama could love. <laughs> All right, very good. Time to kill him. Oh, wait. He brought up a sword instead. So that was a... I see. It's a wee bit unusual to ride the ground. Something like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You should instinct. Gumption. Respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Hey? Well, that's seemingly logical. You got guts, let's spill them. The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Well, that's cool. A little bit of lore there, kind of uh, explaining a little bit of a little bit of stuff and things. Let's see if we can't travel to this here. Ooh, a thousand or so feet away. I might just fast travel, but you know that's kind of cool running with Karagor. It's always fun. Tell me what you guys have been um, enjoying so far with the playthrough. As I say, we're definitely going to be getting to the follower and nemesis uh, features of the game. But I thought I just I should pay dues to uh, the awesome storyline, which I have to say I do enjoy. And I think the dwarf is a really well fleshed out character for the most part. Um, at least I like him. I'm kind of fond of him. Yep, free those people. <laughs> All right, so here we is. That was not not too bad. Pretty quick. Pretty quick on the back of the Karagor. All right, good dog. Go kills things. Time to face his. <laughs> this is going to be great. Torvin! Heads up, Captain! <laughs> Time to go hunting! <laughs> oh, thanks, Torvin, for just arousing this, um... Oh. This dude to come and kill me, this Karagor. Alright, boy. Show me what. No, no, no! Dang it! You're supposed to.
supposed to do one? You're gonna have to break it. Thought I'd keep you on your toes. Oh, not again. Oh, take Holy your time, Captain. Biscuits. Maybe we'll get lucky and that crowd will die of old age. Time to kill it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I killed it, so <laughs> let's try that again. That was um, unintended. I'm supposed to dodge or, or what? I'm waiting for the Y button. Okay, it's A. There. See, I'm, I'm waiting for the Y button, but... Move away from the care to go to get it to charge. Well, okay, that's a good little tip. Now, let's do this, Karagor. Karagorgi! That's all I had to do. Just throw it on the ground. Okay! Time to tame this beast. Well, this one's pretty lively, I have to say. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel in? Yes, let's travel, Torvin. During the hunt to think, what would Torvin do? That's the new, that's it. Actually, Hashtag, that's what would Torvin do? Lesson for you to follow always. That's the words of wisdom we all needed to hear. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty crowd hurls you there. Is it, I don't know, maybe it's just I'm me, but I just love the, the accent. I have that's to say, just what you, you know, whenever I speak this, this dwarven no accent, it's not like I'm trying Don't to make fun of certain nationalities. And I'm From pretty bad at it, but dwarf, neither way, I mean, I just, I yes, just like this it. Crowd this crowd is very, very big. Oh, oh, wait, you're mocking me. Oh, a little humor, a little satire going Friends on. one of the oldest species of Mordor. And the deadliest okay, can I just let him walk? Yeah, there we go. Right, I'll take my thumb off the thumbstick and just um, chill. Enjoy the, the beautiful scenery of Mordor. Actually, surprisingly beautiful for Mordor, if you think about it. I mean, is it like Dark Lord Sauron trying to burn everything with the Uryx? But yet, this place is pretty much untouched. Yeah. That has to do with the region, I guess. Those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The growl knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this growl for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty growl will be my legacy. When are we going to get there? Tell tales of Torvan and the stop hunter for talking. I mean, yeah, it's interesting to hear your story of how you escaped. Basically, you got knocked out and then uh, you lived. How does that work? And how did your partner die? Your friend, your, your buddy. Oh, Karagor is too quiet. I don't think the growl is home. So it's fascinating, he gets knocked out and then his friend dies, but he lives, even though he's knocked out. Ambush. One guy's fighting, one guy, I don't know. But anyway, sorry, let you watch this cutscene. I like it. That's just as sharp as the day our father made it.
Oh, <laughs> lots of cool stuff going on, story mode wise, and the legendary Grog. So this is gonna be fantastic for another episode. Sorry, I had to cut it short, but we're no, actually, it's the right time. So uh, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's episode where we're gonna fight the legendary Grog and talk more about Shadow of War. So this is Hero Eight Seven, your host, signing out. Sign our sidekicks. <laughs>